What's up, everybody? In this episode, we're going to look at my top 50 graded comic books. So let's get rolling. Okay, so in this episode, like I said, we're going to look at my top 50 graded comic books. This is only my graded comic books. I've seen this video going around for a while now, and I figured, why not me? Let me jump in on the action. So what I'm going to do is instead of showing you the books that are on my walls, um, I'm just going to flash up a photo of those. I didn't want to get up there and have to pull down books and everything and go through that motion. So you're just going to see a photo of them as I talk about them and why they're significant to me right over here. So the first book is Ultimate Fallout number four. It's first appearance of Miles Morales. Second, this is Captain America number 110. This is the first appearance of Madam Hydra. Beautiful cover. Love this Steranko cover. Third is Wolverine limited series number one. This is signed by Lynn Wayne, and it's the first solo Wolverine comic. Now, Lynn Wayne didn't do any work on this actual book, but he is one of the original creators of Wolverine. Next is Captain America 117. This is the origin and first appearance of Falcon, a.k.a. Sam Wilson, and Red Wing. Next is Detective Comics number 400. This is the first appearance of Man Bat. Next, we have Batman 404, and that is a Frank Miller autograph. Yes. This is year one, part one. Um, really good storyline, and the fact that it's signed by Frank Miller. This was done at a time that he was having some health issues, so uh, the market started fluctuating a little bit, speculating, unfortunately, on if you know Frank Miller was going to pass away or not. But I'm not sure what his current state of affairs is, but... Um, or state of health is, but anyways, that's that's sort of the reason that, that pushed me further into getting this book. Okay, the next book is Batman 181. This is a beautiful cover. It's the first appearance of Poison Ivy as well. Um, it's a Carmine Infantino and Murphy Anderson cover. It just, it needs more love than what it gets. Just undervalued. Now the next little run of books, these are all Batman number one from, not, from the uh, New 52 run. The first one is the Ethan Van Skyver cover. Now this one, this this is a VIP studio tour of the Batman exhibit. And so you could only get this book if you went on that tour. It's a low graded book, but I got it free with some other books that I bought from this seller. And I took it and had Capullo sign it. Here is the rarest of all those number ones. This is, I believe, like a one in 100 variant. And it's the black and white variant. It's signed three times. So we have the fifth printing, the fourth printing, the third printing, the second printing, and then last but not least, we have the first printing. So the new 52 of Batman was what got me back into reading comics. So that's why it holds a near and dear place in my heart. And it was just beautiful storylines. Okay, next is Batman number eight. Just a early, early Batman from um, 1942. Okay, we're going to start a run of World War II Batman comics here. That's pretty much the significance on all these. So you have Batman number 13, Batman number 15, Batman number 16. Now that is the first appearance of Alfred, so not, not a World War II cover, but obviously a very important book. Batman number 30, World War II. Detective Comics number 78, World War II. And then, ooh, this is Batman number 65. This is a classic, classic Catwoman cover. Okay, this next book is Detective Comics number 27. This is the Jim Lee variant, and woo, it is beautiful. I love the elongated ears that he gave Batman, and it's got that retro, you know, early feel of Batman to it. Um, but I met Jim Lee, had him sign this book. Now, this was one of the three that I had him sign, and absolutely glad the way it, you know, glad, good, happy, and everything with um, the way it graded out. Detective Comics 880. Nothing significant in this book. It's just about that jock cover. That's it, and that's all. Bought this in a lot of books for 25 bucks. Uh, had it pressed and everything and graded out at a 9.6. Next book, I bought this in a lot as well on eBay, and I was really impressed that it graded out at a 9.8, and it's also nice to have the signature verified as well. But it's that Black Mirror storyline. 
Next, we have Just Imagine. This is Stan Lee creating Batman. This is what would Stan Lee have done if he would have created Batman. And so this is the actual first time that we see Batman as a black man. Um, this book was uh, written by Stan Lee and Michael uh, Uslan. And then Joe Kubert signed this book. Stan Lee signed the book. And on the back, there's a back cover. Adam Hughes signed it. Ooh, another World War II cover. This is World's Finest Comics, number seven. Just a classic cover. Ooh, one of my favorite jams growing up, man. Saturday morning cartoons, G.I. Joe. And now this book is even getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is G.I. Joe number one, based on the Hasbro toy line. I specced on this book several years back. Glad I did. This is uh, Werewolf by Night, number 32. And this is the first appearance of Moon Knight. Sort of like the Marvel equivalent of Batman, if you will. I think I spent, and I bought a, I pretty much bought this book with eBay bucks several years ago. And I think I spent around $400 for this book at the time. This is Giant Size X-Men number one. I'm not sure what it's currently going for, but it ain't $400. And it wasn't free for me, you know, because I got it for free because of the eBay bucks. So next is Marvel Spotlight number five. This is the origin and first appearance of Ghost Rider. Now I have the earliest, I mean, we're talking about golden age, uh, not David Bowie golden years, but a golden age of the Ghost Rider's actual first appearance. So I have that. That might find its way into another video again. Next is The Punisher. This is one of my favorite superheroes growing up. I just, I, I love the imagery um, the symbol and everything of Punisher. So, and I mean, Dolph Lundgren. Okay, maybe not. But anyways, uh, I actually got a, a reprint of this book whenever I went to watch the 2004 uh, Punisher with Thomas Jane in it. But this is the real deal. Amazing Spider-Man number 129 is the first appearance of Punisher, a.k.a. Frank Castle. Next, we have Incredible Hulk number 181. Now, this one is missing the value stamp. But, is it called a value stamp? I don't know. Coupon, value coupon, I don't know. Some kind of coupon. Yeah, it's missing that. So it's incomplete. But it's still a 2.0. And it's still worth money. And it's signed by Stanley. He didn't create Wolverine, but he did create Hulk. Next is Daredevil number one. Now this one is signed by Stanley. You can see that over there, right under his right arm. It is signed, but it's not accredited. Um, it just says Stanley written on cover and marker. I have a few of these Stanley autographs. This appears to be an authentic book, site signature, everything to me. So I probably need to send this one off to like CBCS, have them you know verify it and everything, and then press it, regrade it, and see what we come up with. Next one is Tomb of Dracula, number ten, and this is the first appearance of Blade. Really enjoyed those movies. Okay, I dug this book out of a antique shop, and it's Tales of Suspense number 45. It's the first appearance of Happy Hogan, Pepper Potts, and Jack Frost. I, this was the first time I met Stan Lee, and I had him sign this book. Well worth it, in my opinion. Saved it from an uh, antique shop. It was just sitting in there, no bag, no board, or anything. <laughs> Next is Fantastic Four number three. The significance of this one is this is when the Fantastic Four officially donned their new costumes. Fantastic Four number 52. This is the first appearance of the Black Panther, a.k.a. T'Challa. Fantastic Four 46. This is the first full appearance of Black Bolt. It's the second appearance of the Inhumans, and it's, so, it's signed by Joe Sinnott. Fantastic Four number 45. This is the first appearance of Lockjaw and the Inhumans. That's Black Boat, Crystal, Karnak, and Triton. I've always thought that this was just such a cool character. I love his outfit. This is Exciting Comics number 52. This is the Black Terror. But the significance about this one, this is a Crippen copy. Next one is Showcase number 17. This is the first appearance and origin of Adam Strange. It's rough. It's in rough shape, but it's complete. 
and it's mine. World War II cover. This is Captain Marvel Adventures number 16. It's also an Uncle Sam cover. World's Finest Comics number 3. This is the first appearance and first appearance and origin of Scarecrow, Jonathan Crane. It's also an iconic cover. I mean, if you love baseball, if you love Americana, if you just love America, America, you love this, this cover. Beautiful. Adventure Comics number 95. This is from 1945. This is a uh, World War II cover as well. Joe Simon has actually signed this book, and it's got a pretty good grade on it too. This is Submariner Comics number 7. This is from the fall of 1942. Now, I've done a video specifically on this book because it talks about the Japanese bombing the Aleutian Islands. My great uncle, who I interviewed, he was there on the very first day. They hadn't even gotten their, their weapons off the boats yet, and then they got attacked by the Japanese. Okay, New Gods number one. This is signed by Jack Kirby himself on the first page. So... I'm really, really, really happy to have this book. It's the first appearance of Orion, Light Ray, Metron, Calibot, High Father, New Genesis, and Apocalypse. And there's also a Dark Side cameo in here. Next is Batman Adventures number 12, first appearance of Harley Quinn. Amazing Spidey number 300, origin of first appearance of Venom, Eddie Brock. Amazing Spider Man number 50, first appearance of Kingpin. Amazing Spidey, number 31, first appearance of Gwen Stacy, Harry Osborn, and Professor Miles Warren. Ooh, special edition number three. This is one of my special edition U.S. Navy comics. I've got two of those. I've got the Superman one and the Batman one. And uh, these are very, very, very hard to find. Um, I have three. One's ungraded, but I have two that are graded. Next one, just an iconic cover. It's it's Action Comics number 33, and it's the origin of Mr. America. Fantastic Four number 48. First appearance of the Silver Surfer and Galactus cameo on last page. Significance here is first appearance of Silver Surfer. Ooh. Next, we have Fantastic Four number one. Now, this one is in a little bit of rough shape. But considering the fact that I spent less than $900 on this book, mm, I like making money. Now, I'm never going to sell it, but if I needed to, I think I could turn a profit. Next is Tales of Suspense number 40. This is a rough book, but it's complete. And it's the second appearance of Iron Man, first appearance of Iron Man in the gold suit and last but not least one of my biggest books in my collection the high upon high tales of suspense number 39 the first appearance of tony stark aka iron man i don't know how goofy or stupid that just looked but it is what it is baby tells of suspense 39 glad to own it glad to have it um this was Bought several years back before comic books just skyrocketed. This was another one of those less than, you know, a thousand bucks is what I spent on this in ungraded um, condition. Sent it off for grading. Come back as a 3.0 restored. So what's up? What's happening? What's up? I like it. I have no idea what I'm rambling about right now. But anyways, that's the top 50 graded comic books in my collection that I could come up with on somewhat short notice. Thank you all for watching. Love you long time.